I say it is glorious compared to a week ago. Um, Justin, my well, faithful companion here, <laughs> wasn't it terrible last week about yeah. a foot of snow out here? Yeah, we were under eight or ten inches of snow out here on the field, and this is a brand new field, right? This oh. has all been uh, redone in the past year. In fact, the whole looking. last season, uh, BYU was playing over, over at Helaman Field. Over on the so, Helaman Field, yeah, right? Yeah, there's a brand new surface, and it's beautiful. So here we are at the foot of the uh, beautiful white-capped Wasatch Mountains. Today's game is between the Brigham Young Cougars and St. Mary's Gales. So it's about, what, 50, low 50s? Low 50s today, yeah. Little breeze, few clouds. It couldn't be better for a rugby game. Yeah, I know some people were looking at me funny when I walked in here with this nice, nice overcoat. But as, <laughs> as we're feeling it now, we're getting a bit of a breeze come through by the commentator booth here. Yep. And uh, clouds are starting to cover the field, so it is a bit chilly. Well, I'll tell you what, BYU uh, and St. Mary's both look forward to these games every year. They've got a home and away series set up. So BYU went down to St. Mary's a few weeks ago and lost by a few. Uh, and this is a return trip for St. Mary's to come here. And each year, these are kind of the premier games of the season for, um, for the BYU guys. And BYU, we're, we're honored to have uh, the likes of a team like uh, St. Mary's uh, University. They are brilliant to watch and play. In fact, the seconds last night put on a real good show, and we hope to see that sort of uh, rugby play today. In fact, a lot more bruising, to put it uh, mildly. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, the lineups for both of these teams. Um, and here they are, Mark. Yeah, the, the big ones here are the props. I call them big because these guys are big. Devin Anderson, Tyler Simpson, and Michael Payne. In the second row, we've got Johnny Lane and James Mock. Mocky, by the way, Johnny Lane is going to be the captain for BYU today and wearing the number four jersey. Sam Merrill, Tosh Wilcox, and Kevin Sorensen are the loose forwards in six, seven, and eight. In the backs are Ben Weber at scrum half. Calvin Whiting moves up into the... Uh, first 5 8 slash uh, fly half slot. Uh, Nalu Shortland's on the left wing. Tuale is uh, inside center. Zach Weber outside center. Sam Roberts is on the right wing. And Connor Perry comes up in the fullback position wearing number 15. For St. Mary's, we've got uh, Peyton Tilia Lalio at uh, Lucid Prop. Ethan Waller, Peter Walden, Ronan Murphy, and Alec Barton in the second rows. Francois Pietti Ties, Marcus Vicardi. Viscardi and Vili Helu uh, in the forward pack and in the back line. We have Sean Jacobian, Jacobian Mike McCarthy, Tommy Wallace, Peter Lapetti in the inside center, Liam Cotter in the outside center. Right wing is Charlie Loudon and the fullback is Aaron Matthews. Team coach is Tim O'Brien and Jim um, Everett. Everett. He is uh, excited to see a good game today, both him and uh, Tim and this is going to be a fun time for us all. Hey, there's my old teammate John Richards in the crowd. I just saw him up there. For uh, the for the officials, I'll get this in. Yep. Um, the um, the referee for today is uh, let me see. I want to just double check. Is Derek Simpson? Aaron Ormsby is uh, AR number one, and Cage Green is number AR number two. And in the fourth position, Sam Madsen. We just got done talking about the lineups, uh, and Mark, you read through those. Some of the things that we're going to be watching for with each of those teams, I can talk a little bit about some of the BYU guys that you want to pay attention to. Um, getting his first start at number nine is Ben Weber. <clears throat> ben is a freshman and is the younger brother of, uh, let's see, I think he's the third, fourth Weber brother oh, to yeah. play rugby he's here. He's been yeah. a few. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fourth, and I think he's the youngest. Anyway, uh, this is his first start at nine, so it's going to be interesting to see if he can 
get these forwards under control, get them marshaled, get them uh, on, a, on the front foot, all the things that you like to say about a scrum half. Um, and they've moved uh, Calvin to number 10. My personal thoughts are that Calvin is going to have to have a big game. He's going to have to really take charge. He's going to have to marshal the backs and maybe take over some of that with the forwards with young Weber uh, playing at nine. So it's going to be interesting how that 9-10 combination mm. plays out. Yeah. It was interesting when you see a new combination set up in the game. Yep. It takes me back to the good old days when there was three brothers playing for the All Blacks at one time. Um, the going brothers, you'd watch them on the field and it was like they were communicating um, mind-wise. They wouldn't say anything, but they knew what each other were doing and they'd react or be proactive on each other's moves. So we'll see if we can see that today with some of the uh, combinations. It's fun to see the crowd react as BYU takes the field. Uh, they're lined up on the five. Uh, St. Mary's is gathered in their end zone for a little pregame huddle. Um, good little turnout of crowds. It looks like there's still people streaming in. Uh, usually these games will get a, a few thousand spectators and then hopefully a few more online. You want to you wanna make a comment about the BYU uniform this year? Usually it goes to a, a different uniform. It looks really sharp this year. Yeah, they've gone to uh, Olympus. Uh, I guess that's the sponsor and the, and the kit provider this year. And they do look nice, you know. Really um, good, eh? Yeah. And I've seen a couple of the combinations so far this season. It'll be fun to see what they what they bring out as the season unfolds. And uh, everyone facing the flag on the... And we'll, you, we will go and hear the national anthem momentarily. Welcome to everyone again to the field. We're in for a great match today. As we to this uh, game under Cage. Uh, in a lot of play in the Pacific area. Cage. The Cougars come in. Having played a few games, but uh, last time they played against St. Mary's, uh, St. Mary's came ahead, out ahead of the, in the scoreboard. BYU looking to uh, even up the score here today. So a few weeks ago down at St. Mary's, um, BYU lost by a score of 37 to 17. Uh, and it was close early, and then uh, St. Mary's put some on in the second half. You know, after talking to Coach Smith and some of the other coaches, Celesi Sika, um, you know, the idea would be to get a, a score early, uh, put the ball behind St. Mary's, and, uh, and see if they can hang on. I think the worst scenario would be to allow St. Mary's to score early um, and then be scrambling. I mean, that's always the worst scenario no matter what you're playing, but I think especially here today, you can't let St. Mary's get a lead early uh, and then get the confidence. Yeah, following on from uh, last night's uh, B game, that's what happened. St. Mary's scored one, two, three, and they had that advantage straight from the, the get-go. Kickoff received by uh, number 15, Aaron Matthews and kicks it down into BYU's 22 meter. And BYU responds. 
well, with a clearing good. kick out uh, back into uh, St. Mary's territory, close to their 10 metre line. That's a good sign that they got their first kick for touch into touch. You know, the worst thing in the world is to get those clearing kicks that stay in bounds and then give St. Mary's a counterattack. And that kick had to fight some pretty, uh, pretty strong wind up there. So line out, St. Mary's. Waller throws it in. Kirby and he passes out to his inside center. So center he puts it down. And it goes back out to the left side for St. Mary's number 14, Charlie Loudon. But Loudon's taken out by BYU's number 14, Sam Roberts. Sam Roberts uh, for BYU is the fastest guy on the team, I guess. Uh, he's a former track runner for BYU and apparently he can really burn. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. There's a quick line out in the front of the line. Uh, nothing much coming from that. That's a knock on by St. Mary's. All right. So St. Mary's, Mary's has knocked this on. So referee Summers will take it out and uh, start with a scrum at the 50 meter line and from the sideline. Touch line. BYU scrum. First scrum of the game. So this ought to be interesting to see. Ben Weber will be feeding the scrum. It's in there. Sorensen's at the back of the scrum. Weber gets it out to his first 5-8. Uh, Kelvin Whiting dishes it off the inside center to a lay. We were used keeping this movement uh, close to the scrums. They're not going to move it out wide just yet. And just as I say that, they may. Well, St. Mary's is closing the space pretty pretty quickly, right? They they get up uh, get up on their defensive lines really fast. So either BYU is going to have to uh, get a little depth or get a little faster recycled before St. Mary's can set up their lines. Very good, yeah. That, that's that's a good call, Justin. That's exactly what they're doing. St. Mary's is moving up very very quickly, stifling BYU's back line from any sort of creative man maneuvering this deep into their own territory. That breakdown there was sad to see because they were moving the ball, they being BYU, were moving it to the far left. But for a forward pass, they would have been in good position to run down the sideline. That didn't happen. You know, and that was that was kind of their first possession with ball in hand, and the, the kind of the interesting part was that they didn't really break the game line. Did you notice that? Yeah. They were kind of going back and forth across the field and not really getting any uh, forward momentum. Yeah. They'll have to find somebody that can break the gain line, find a weakness in that defensive line. Okay, St. Mary's is moving it out to the left. Number 14, Charlie Loudon, he takes possession, goes to ground with it. St. Mary's number 12, he brings it back in field. Peter Lopetti sets a ruck here, and they're moving it. They St. Mary's is moving it uh, quite effectively, but BYU has intercepted this. Oh. Stepped out. BYU's number 14, Sam Roberts, has stepped on the line. And we'll have a line out just outside BYU's 22 meter. In fact, just inside BYU's 22 meter. Simpson throws it. This time it's out the back. It's tapped off the top. Get it out. And Kelvin Whiting, he launches it out of here. He realizes the dilemma BYU's in. So he wants to get it back into uh, St. Mary's territory, which he does. And it looks like they've trapped uh, St. Mary's in there. Good cover territory. on the counterattack. Okay, number nine. Sean Jacobian, he feeds it out to the right. But it doesn't go anywhere because it's uh, forward pass out there as well. So both teams having troubles with forward passes within the space of say three or four minutes. Things might uh, settle down here in a minute. Yeah, BYU's got to get out of their own half. Uh, St. Mary's has had, you know, possession for four minutes um, of, the five, of the five game minutes so yeah, far have, in yeah. BYU's half. And that's mm. way too much, way too early. So um, BYU's now got the ball on St. Mary's side. They've, they've got to keep the ball down there. We're able to put in. Uh, Tulei, he's come up close to the, the scrum. 
And he's actually joining into the scrum here, hoping to take a pass that didn't happen. There's somebody breaking the gain line. There you go. And Weber, he's fed it out to the left here. BYU is actually making a little bit of ground here. And it's still, still just inside the St. Mary's half. And BYU is awarded a penalty. Uh, one of uh, St. Mary's players has come around offside. And the decision is yet to be made whether we go for the post or go for the sideline. And it looks like a sideline call. Kelvin Whiting, he launches it there. With the wind, will it make it? Yes, it does. That was a great kick. The wind has actually picked up for quite dramatically uh, in the last five minutes. It's like the wind gods have shown up. It's terrible. What's, what's going on here? <laughs> You're the pilot. You, ought to, <laughs> you know how this wind works. Coming from a heading of 300. <laughs> Okay, be where you line out throw, take it in, controlled. Yeah, they got to be patient here. They can't. Two uh, Tyler Simpson can't get reckless and can't give the ball away. They've got to maintain possession, be patient, and just chip away at it. Yeah, Simpson's moved up. He set it. Number eight, we've got uh, Kevin Sorensen. He's gone to ground to set up a ruck. Simpson's passed it out to Kelvin Whiting. Whiting jinxes. He actually goes past the defensive line, and this has set up a try. This has set up a try for Ben, ben Weber. Weber. <laughs> yeah. Now, were you saying that Ben Weber, this is pretty new for him? This is his first start. This is his first start? Yeah. Well, what a debut for Ben Weber at halfback. Yeah, he was a, he was a great uh, high school player for United. Uh, served a mission in uh, Angola. Angola? Somewhere crazy. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this, is his, this is his first semester back and uh, first game starting at number nine. That's awesome. You had a uh, veteran player in, in number 10, Kelvin Whiting, handing it off to a, a new player, a do, debut player. Good conversion by Calvin. If he misses that one, we pull him off the field. Yeah, they, he, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> good kick, Kelvin Whiting. So good for Ben Weber. You know, he, he kind of sniped that off the side of the ruck there, put mm -hmm. his head down, ran right through one of the forwards, and uh, he just kept his body low and scored that he thing. He did. He initiated good that friend. whole uh, phase of play, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's keeping up with the, with the pace of the play. That was one thing I was interested in, to see if he was going to get to the breakdown and distribute the ball on time. And, and so far, it looks like he's done that. He's, he's getting around and doing the job. Don't you find that for new scrum halves, that's one of the, oh, the yeah. biggest problems is uh, oh, how yeah. quickly do I get to the breakdown and how yeah. quickly do I decide what's yeah. going on? Yeah, he's, he, he switched on. Here comes Johnny Lane. There's a halfback, brand new halfback. He switched on. Here we go, BYU is in a pos position to just take the pass, drive through keep St. Mary's uh, defense honest. It's coming right yeah, We've to tried us. to clear this kick. Uh, BYU's tried to clear this kick. But number 14, Sam Roberts has taken it for St. Mary's. He's kept it in bounds. Number 15, uh, Connor Perry. Penalty to BYU. Uh, looks like uh, St. Mary's has actually knocked it on. That uh, St. Mary's player has taken it from an offside position, therefore the penalty. See if the left-footed Calvin can well, look at that. A little distance. Oh, it's going to stay in. It's isn't it? staying in. It's staying in. So Whiting tried to put it out uh, midway between the goal line and the 22. Didn't quite uh, come off. But here we go. BYU's actually got a countering yeah. attack. Uh, Great opportunity. Opportunity here. Yeah. There, get the ball in the middle of the field with some space uh, as a back. There's nothing better. Weber looks for his uh, lock, number four. Uh, Jonathan Lane, the captain. Goes out to Whiting. Whiting sees an opportunity here for, for, uh, for a potential catch and go by his winger. Uh, Connor Perry for uh, St. Mary's. Clean that up for uh, the boys in red. Number five, we've got St. Mary's is uh, keeping this alive here. They're taking the opportunities out wide. Yeah, they're dangerous in open play. When it's a little fractured and a little uh, unsettled, uh, you know, for BYU's defense, St. Mary's will take advantage of that every time. Now, referee Summers has called a penalty. Uh, uh, it's very obvious why he's calling this, because um, as the tackle player goes to ground, he is seeing a bit, bit too, 
something he does want to see. Referees don't want to see his pile-ups and rucks and walls. And that's exactly what's happened. Players are going to the ground. Diving over. You're leaving their feet. Coming over, yeah. yeah, leaving their feet and, and just creating it, just an all-out mess uh, termed pile-up. Referees don't don't allow pile-ups. So hopefully he'll clean this up and we won't see too many, many pile-ups in the rest of the game. So this, uh, this possession here kind of comes back to about a minute ago when BYU had the ball on attack at the 50 and Calvin kicked that, uh, you know, the kick pass, the mm. wiper kick out to the sideline instead of, you know, putting it through his back's hands. And, you know, they had a, yeah. they had a five to three man advantage. Mm. Uh, I, I think in that position, I'd rather see him keep the ball uh, in hand and try and attack that way. So St. Mary's number 10 attempts the penalty, but just pushes it to the right. So number 10, Mike McCarthy, has just uh, pushed it to the right of the upright. Hey, Mark, we just got an update. The roster is a little off. Number 14 is Tommy Wallace. So he's, you've got him as 11. Okay. So he's wearing 14, and um, Louder is wearing 11. They just swapped. Oh, louder, numbers. okay. Thanks for whoever tweeted that into us. That's good. The boys will want to know that their name has been called correctly. Uh, number 10, Mike McCarthy, does a grubber kick, pushes it down the field, buys some uh, real estate. And now St. Mary's is on attack, uh, around about five metres from BYU's goal line. A defensive uh, line out for BYU. That's a safe, uh, safe bet to take a two-hander, bring it down, or we'll pass it from the top. They just need to create a little bit of space and then get the ball out. They don't want to dink around with it down in their own territory. It's a pretty dangerous place to, to play. Yeah, it's not safe enough. They, they believe to uh, clear it, but now it is. Good clearance. And Whiting has uh, put the boot to it and taken it out just outside the 22 meter of BYU's. Referees uh, trying to clear these lineouts. We'll clean them up a bit. Sets the front row, front uh, position player. Space is uh, an important thing in lineouts. And St. Mary's is taking this up the middle. Still have possession, but it's in a mall, mall situation. So if uh, BYU were to keep this in there, no, nope, St. Mary's is broken away. Helu. And this looks dangerous. He's a big unit, man. That's and it. there is number eight for St. Mary's, Vili Hilu. And by the way, his father played for the United States Eagles back in the uh, mid to late 80s. His name was Roy Hilu as uh, an inside center. Vili's a captain, isn't he? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a good player, strong player. Went through three or four of the BYU boys to score that try. So McCarthy with his uh, second attempt. And this was no problem for him. So the scores are tied with 14 minutes played at 7-7. Seven, seven. Well, you know... Um, you know, when BYU had the ball in their own, down in St. Mary's half, that's when they were dangerous and they made things happen and St. Mary's was scrambling and on their heels, right? Mm -hmm. Total difference than when St. Mary's has got it in BYU's half. It's, they've got, BYU has got to keep the ball behind St. Mary's, make them play from 80 meters instead of from 20 meters. Yep. There's the kick uh, taken by a front row player for St. Mary's and they drive up a couple of yards. Setting a ruck here so the clearance comes to the first uh, running set of forwards. I think that may be Healy there taking it up another five yards. Now it moves out. Oh, and it's a, and it's a dummy. And this time we've got uh, St. Mary's. Oh, and St. Mary's winger. If he had to kick that cleanly down behind BYU's players, this could have been a, a horse race to the goal line. But as, as has happened, he's... Uh, Chipped it out over the sideline. 
I feel like we have the referees feed in our stream. Do you hear the referees in the stream? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's not straight. So BYU's line out and throw was not uh, adjudicated straight. So St. Mary's has elected not to go for another line out, but a scrum. Sean Jacobian, number nine, is about to put it in for St. Mary's. The scrum is right on halfway. And that is a clean strike through position one. Taken by Helu out to Jacobian. Now it's moved across the back line. St. Mary's wanted to exploit it out wide. But there was good defense by BYU's outside uh, players. Now we've got a recycle going back the other way. We have a forward player there. I think it's Healy making sure that they're not sliding. The defense is not sliding across. And uh, referees call a penalty. Yeah, we're getting uh, getting the referee indication here. Looks like uh, one of the St. Mary's players was holding on to one of the BYU players, and the BYU guy was trying to hit his hit his arm off of him. Oh, is that what was going on? Yeah, he had a hold of the jersey and he's trying to get him off. Good call and explanation by the referee. <laughs> oh, very. Very so well was James, said. James Maki was trying to get the uh, mm. the St. Mary's hand off his jersey. I think that was well adjudicated. There yep. didn't have to be extreme measures taken. He's just calming both sides down. A bit of, bit of niggling behavior going on out there. And I think he's handled that very well, um, referee Summers. Scrum, St. Mary's just inside BYU's half. Not, not quite the clean strike that we had in the previous scrum, but it has come out and gone right. Lepetti at midfield back has uh, taken this up to the 10 meter line, and now they're going to go and move it out wide. Oh, the timing could have been a little bit better there, but number 13, Liam Cotter, he's kept possession, gone forward, and they want to swing it right again. Vili, uh, Vili has passed it back and has come back out to the right side set of backs. Number 12, Peter Lepetti tries to barge and does take a BYU play to the ground maybe. Here we go, still the ruck. It's a bit messy. And so the forwards keep it close to them and it looks like they're going to take one channel and that's off to the right there. Looks like it's lost forward. Oh, and it looks like St. Mary's players actually picked that up in an offside position. But uh, referee Summers is going to take the knock on first. Well, BYU had some decent scrambling defense. I'll tell you, the St. Mary's guys attack hard. You know, they, <laughs> they come onto the ball. I, I don't see any of them taking the ball standing still. They're coming onto the ball. They're running straight lines. They've always got somebody in support. This is a, this is a great St. Mary's team. It's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Both teams, both teams in the tackle situation, uh, coach very well as far as taking the tackle, but driving through that tackle as the ball carrier. Both teams are doing it quite well right now. In fact, very well. So we have a uh, stoppage at the scrum. Can't be too bad because now they're setting up. Ben Weber feeds. He's come back and now it's going out to the back line. Oh, Whiting. nice line. Whiting does a great pass to Weber. Got and Jack Weber has made at least 40 yards on that run. 
And referees call an advantage because the retreating uh, St. Mary's players never made it back on site. So the referee, because of the stoppage there, is going to bring it back here for the penalty for offside. That was a really nice line and a, by Zach Weber and a great pass by Calvin to, uh, to put him through that gap. And, of course, St. Mary's scrambled well on defense. You know, they covered and, and yeah. slowed it down. And uh, Calvin's right between the posts. He's 22 meters out. This ought to be, <laughs> this ought to be an easy kick. Zach Weber is showing his um, experience as a midfielder. He's playing center this year. Last time I saw him, he was playing inside center, I do believe, maybe not. But he shows some real good skills at the midfield back position. Yeah, you know, he's kind of a calm presence. He doesn't uh, he yeah. doesn't get wound up there or nervous. Go. That's it, Justin? He's not the fastest, you know, back on the field, but he's pretty sure. And there you go. Oh, now Kelvin Whiting was not going to allow the wind to, to dictate anything on that one. So he's actually kicked the leather off the ball, putting that uh, kick through the uprights. So the score goes to 10-7, and we're just over halfway through the first half. BYU 10, St. Mary's 7. It looks like Devin Anderson is still down. He took, uh, he took the ball on that recycle from the long run, and in the tackle, looks like he got kind of bent backwards a little bit. He was overextended there, wasn't he? Yeah, and it looks like he's still being attended to. So they'll wait for that to clear up. He's a solid looking <laughs> prop, old uh, Devin uh, Anderson. Speaking of big boys, both the uh, front rows uh, have come with uh, quite the weaponry as far as size for the positions. Solid group of players in the front row. He's okay. Yeah, yep. BYU's uh, tight head and the hooker are both backups. The only the only starter on the front row for BYU is the. Wow. Let's wait till he, wait till they're off here. Time on. So the referee indicates that the game is allowed to be played again. So here is Mike McCarthy. He launched this. Where it goes, we'll have to see. Uh, down to the 22 meter, and it looks like it's gone out on the on the fly. So BYU could either say, "Hey, let's have them re-kick again," or no, we'll uh, restart this with a scrum at halfway. So they've taken option B. Big one, boys! Big scrum, big scrum. Well, it's good. Well, I think I say the same thing every time I do one of these games. Uh, I love a center scrum as a back. <laughs> you know, you've, you've broken their back line into two. Mm -hmm. uh, all of their forwards are engaged. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best part. So be where you guys right, Kelvin. Kelvin Wadding takes reception. He's taken the down by two St. Mary's players. Petty, he's taken in the ball and he's come hard passes it out. He's first running forward. Looks like Johnny Lane. That's James Mocky, he's taking the ball in the, the drive forward now. He's come back out and gone out wide to Zach Weber. Oh, he went down Zach hard Weber. on that leg again, Devin did. And it's been taken out now. Justin has highlighted the fact that um, Devin Anderson, he is not... Uh, he it looks like he jumped up to retrieve the pass, and then when he let it go, yeah. he hit the ground right as he let the pass go. Yeah, he's not happy. Nah, a little. I suspect that he will be pulled here. Yeah, and sure enough. Ankle, knee, who knows, huh? It's too bad. So here we have it. We have uh, Spencer Iker wearing the number 19 jersey coming in and replacing uh, Devin Anderson at the prop position. Iker. Uh, 
I've been corrected. His last name is pronounced Ika. I should have known that. Yep, Devin Anderson does not look happy coming off. Line out starts. St. Mary's takes it at the top. Quick ball brought down. Out to the back line. Oh, the timing wasn't wasn't good there. And as a result, BYU is counterattacking. Good pass. Now Ika Spencer is now. Took it into touch. He's into the play already. And has run it up. Same here as 22 meter. And the referee's going to bring it back because he saw the knock on. He was actually playing advantage to BYU. So we'll go back for the scrum to BYU. So BYU ball on the uh, 10 meter line of St. Mary's. We've got a split field here too once again. Scrum is positioned midfield. Across the field, I'm, I'm saying. Well, let's uh, let's see if BYU can do something to keep the ball um, in hand, be a little bit more patient, and uh, stay in St. Mary's half, keep the pressure on. Oh, that's St. Mary's put a good drive up. on here. <laughs> St. Mary's put a very good drive on there. The ball had not come from a scrum. St. Mary's had the drive. So BYU's penalized for coming up, popping out of the scrum like that. So beyond the St. Mary's 10 middle line. And the option looks like um, St. Mary's is going to go for the, the sideline. Let's see if they can get as much out of this wind that's behind their back as possible on this kick. Oh, Stayed in. McCarthy didn't quite get it there. BYU's moving across field, but not moving upfield. They just need to make a line break here. Number three, Michael Payne. He's showing some power driving up the middle. Now they've got a little space. He now they've got there. space. Whiting's passed it out. The Petty. Oh, that's Tua. Oh, that's Tua. Mm -hmm. They gotta get that ball Locks off the back of these rucks. It it's gotta come out now. That was uh, James Bocky. There you go. Now two has got, no, that's Ika. Yep. He's dri driving it forward. Setting up a nice ruck here for the backs to move, but no, it's gonna be kept in the forwards. St. Mary's defense is coming out fairly quickly. He's putting it behind him now. And this could be a corner. very effective kick here. Yes, wow. And that was a well-judged kick. Taking the uh, play, taking play down to within uh, five minutes of St. Mary's goal line. So now, did uh, I didn't quite see? So is it St. Mary's put in? Yes, it is. Yeah, they didn't touch it. It went out. We'll see what St. Mary's has. In the way of defense. Oh, Long Johnny out. Lane stole oh, it. Oh, Lane almost picked it. Well, knocked on. He could have train. fallen on it, but he's knocked it forward. Oh, that wasn't Johnny. Who was that? Who was that? Mocky? Yeah, it was uh, James Mocky, wasn't it? No. Well, I think it was. Was that Tosh? Was he number seven? I could. I could. Yeah, I could. Oh, no, it's eight. It's uh, Sorensen. Sorensen. Yeah, sorry. Ball boy. Don't know your name. You tell Salute Steve, tell all your coaches that they need to get behind this flag or they're going to be sitting on the bench, okay? Get them back. Everybody. Scrum collapses. Scrum not too effective there, so uh, referee's calling for a, a re, uh, reset. Now the wind, wind's died down a little bit here. So BYU's got their deep three, uh, both lines covered, and their fullback deep in the middle, obviously waiting for this clearing kick. Hopefully it'll stay in and they can make a counterattack. Oh, St. Mary's is attacking on the weak side. Yes, they've gone blind. I love it. I like that they're St. aggressive. St. Mary's is uh, making oh, sure yeah. that they don't lose this by going and setting up a ruck. Yep, there's a the And what did they do as I spoke? 
He's gone out wide, left. St. Mary's is up for the task, and they've actually stolen it here. St. Mary's is taking it quietly here. Referee's called a penalty. So we've got an offside player. You know, they had that uh, scrum way down on their own five meter. They saw our deep three way deep, and they decided to attack on the weak side where they had numbers. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's risky. It's aggressive, but it's fun. Well, there's the clearing kick. Well, McCarthy, he's taking it out five meters outside uh, St. Mary's 22. We haven't seen many variations in the lineouts. I think it's been all full line out so far. We have a full line out again. Healy takes it, passes it out to the back line. Yeah, the back line is in full full roar here. Number 50, Aaron Matthews, he takes it up. Halfback now puts more pressure on BYU's defensive pattern here. And he's gone out just outside BYU's 22 meter. So using the win effectively. Sean Yacobian, seeing that he could use the win, has judged it perfectly. And BYU's in uh, bad straights here with the wind in their face. And a strong defense coming up within their 22 meter. They'll have to. Uh, be very careful what they do here. So they're going wide. We're going to stretch it out. And the line out takes place now with uh, St. Mary's put in. Well, 30 minutes are gone. 10 minutes left to go in this thing, and BYU has got a three point lead. Um, did you think it would be a little more high scoring? Than I actually early? did. I thought so too. Yeah, I actually I thought, thought it would be. The conditions would be right for mm. some scores. And, you know, I think both sides have had a couple of opportunities. Yep. Both teams are giving defense, putting it up there, shutting down their opponent. And here we go, a rolling. It was a rolling ball. We've got two attackers with the ball carrier. It's out, BYU. Oh. Now, BYU's stolen this ball. And that's what you want within your own 22 meter. Referee's got advantage. I didn't see what had happened. Maybe not anymore. BYU moving with their forwards first. They're going to take a straight line up the field. Once again, their forward pack, forward players. Now we have a clearing kick by Calvin Whiting. And this is midway between BYU's 22 and the 10 meter line. Now, wind is back. Look at the flag by the uh, assistant referee. Yeah, it's flying, fluttering around there. It's at St. Mary's back, so. That'll hold up some of the BYU kicks mm -hmm. for another nine minutes. Oh, well taken at the top. McCarthy misses his inside center. That's the fullback coming in. And it's out to the winger. Number 14, Charlie Loudon. He maintained possession. Back over to number four, Ronan Murphy. He's gone back out to the fullback and the wing. And... Oh. St. Mary's player wanting to tap and go very quickly. The referee says no, going to take it on the mark. That wing out there is Tommy Wallace. They uh, they swapped jerseys. That's on right, us. The, they did, eh? Yeah, the the uh, and we we received a tweet from somebody back home at St. Mary's that, that knew the difference. But uh, the roster we have has uh, so I apologize, Tommy. Tommy. Yeah, sorry, it has Tommy Wallace wearing the 11. We've made that. Uh, Correction to the 14, I think, right? Yeah, we've Charlie done it. Charlie is the 11, so. You keep keep uh, messing it, so. Well, no, that Tommy? we apologize for the early mistakes, but that's the roster we were given. Tommy was ready to go in there, but he kept possession well, and look what's happened here. Um, penalty, but we're going with a scrum. St. Mary's put in. Oh, 
All right, blindside winger. Oh, that's a good, good, good drive to the line. And he's over. Yep. Is that number five? Yep. Is that Alec Barton? And St. Mary's puts it, puts it over. Well, that was a well-worked move too. They had the the blind the blind wing coming in, and he took it into contact. They had a really fast recycle. Boom! Plus, Dives over the line. Plus some weight. Big guys, <laughs> plus some size. Big guys against um, yeah, midfield backs. Yeah. It's good strategy, and it was well well executed. Thanks. Oh, snuck it in the left side. Yes. We didn't know there for a second, but he snuck it in there. Is that Jacobian? Yeah, that's Jacobian. Sean Jacobian brings the score. St. Mary's 14, BYU at 10. Your kicks off. It's a medium uh, distance kick, taken well, and we have a, uh, a runner plus supporting actors coming through. Yeah, the guys are breaking the gain line every time they touch the ball too. It uh, keeps BYU backing up and it makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Jacobian has tested the BYU's uh, left side winger. He's he's shifty. He's and got he's done well. Feet. That's Connor Perry. Connor Perry. Yeah. Uh, he's moving. Oh yes, let's see what happens here. I think this is uh, it's gonna, oh my gosh, BYU did pick it up. No, oh, the St. Mary's got it. Uh, BYU's number, f was it four or five was yeah, there? Yeah, it was four. So Jonathan Lane, BYU's captain, was up there to take it, but St. Mary's uh, snatched it. Oh. St. Mary's is uh, calming things down here, making sure they, uh, that one's this out. Ball. Yeah, the last couple of clearing kicks stayed uh, stayed in. That one mm. he made sure to get that one out. Yeah. Connor Perry's got quick feet, doesn't he? Oh, he's a uh, twinkle toes. I think those little <laughs> yellow green canary looking shoes help. <laughs> <laughs> nice line out. Oh. oh, I tell you what. Saved that, didn't he? He saved that. <laughs> By Jingos, Ben Weber saved that. He's going to take it back to the forwards, set something up here. That was okay, smart, that's actually. Tule. Let's see what Tua does. Yeah, he's giving it back. Going to the weak side. Beware, you're still controlling it, but not moving up the field yet. Number five, we've got uh, James Mockey. He drives in, sets the ball. Nobody at the back there, so number two, um, Tyler Simpson. Oh, he's used it. Oh, Johnny kept it. And oh, what did he referee has seen forward. a forward pass. Unlucky. <laughs> well, it'll be a shame if BYU can't uh, figure out a score staying down this deep in their territory for this long. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the St. Mary's put in, you'd expect you know, maybe a phase or two and then mm. putting the ball back down the other side of the field, especially with the wind at their backs. Well, BYU could put pressure on here. They're at the 22 meter of St. Mary's. Jacobian yeah. feeds, it's a clean hook. At the number 12, 12 Peter Lopetti. And goes right to his second set of forwards there in the second running position. St. Mary's has a huge advantage to their left. All the BYU guys are stuck stuck in the middle. So is this still in? Yep. Here we go. Okay. Who's this? Is that Perry? Connor this is Perry. Perry. Fullback. He oh! Number 14. That's Sam Roberts. Sam Roberts. That's this, this is for this is was in two lines there. Jump up a rock to block two lines. Kick, okay? Oh, the key position no, will run. Do that. <laughs>
He's a brand new rugby player. This is his first season ever to play rugby. So, uh, but he's got some wheels. You see? Yeah, they no, say, he's, say he's really fast. So if he can figure out the game and how to, yep. you know, get a good line. Well, man, when you get a player coming with speed, you can work with a player like that for sure. Ouch! Give him all the skills he needs. Buying. Kobe in. They've got their uh, blindside wing lined up directly behind the scrum, so he can break either way. He's going to break inside. Channel one, it's a good hook. Yeah, here comes a little Kirby six in. in. Oh, okay, Lepetti, he takes it, takes a high pass, manages to bring it down. He keeps position here. He got a bit messy, but yes, it's quality position, the, the base of that ruck. And deft handling. Quick hands, right? Yeah, Real deft quick. handling by the uh, St. Mary's back line. Oh, be careful when you lift a player. So St. Mary's is still still going. They pick and go. Looks like it could be another one, but no. Now we bring it out to the back line. There, that, there does appear to be an advantage here. Lepetti, does he keep it alive? Yes, he does. So close. St. Mary's is applying s wow. Wow, so much not, pressure yeah. here. They still have possession here. Yeah. Now we've got the prop number three, Peter Walden, putting in some action. We've got forwards and backs in that ruck. Uh, this is the final minute and a half Mary's. too. This is a big. This is a big. Uh, this will be a big play here. Big stand for BYU and a great opportunity for St. Mary's. Now comes White. We've got a, a, back, a forward in the back line. Going to utilise his power and strength, but BYU's defence is is holding out well. They've BYU is putting in some great defence here. Oh, here we go. Got yes. Again, BYU's defence held and held and held. But there was such relentless pressure being applied by St. Mary's. They finally dot down that about 10 seven. metres in from the sideline. Number seven, Marcus uh, Biscardi with the try. Wow. That was good pressure there and good defence. So. Well, St. Mary's is really good at recycling yeah. that ball, right? I mean, yeah. they didn't get impatient. They didn't do anything crazy. They didn't make any, you know, really errant passes. They just yep. they kind of kept it tight and just kept banging it straight up the field until they uh, until they found the gap they wanted. And what they ended up finding was one of their flankers uh, kind of crashing through one of our wing, one of BYU's wings. Yeah, that's a <laughs> yeah. That's not a fair fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm Need good. to resource some of the bigger boys out to the out to help those wings. Unless you uh, recruit Jonah Loma for one game, yeah, put him out there on the wing, or Mark Ormsby. Big boy. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> or Justin Nadal. No size. Boom! Here we go. Let's see what this does. Oh, that actually stayed fairly straight all the way through, but the wind had had its say, and that is the half time. So going into the locker rooms at the half. St. Mary's at 19, BYU at 10. So some quick recaps on that first half. Uh, Wynn had a little bit to say about the game. Defenses had a lot to say about the game. Play selections had a lot to say about the game. Um, both teams. Boy, they were putting on a defensive show today, so that's why we see such a, uh, uh, yeah, a low-scoring game. So defense had their say this uh, first half. You know, going uh, by memory, I don't think that uh, John? what happened was, a, John? was because of handling errors, you know? I mean, both teams played well. Uh, they played pretty smart. Uh, sometimes it was a decision that could have gone either way, but it, but it didn't usually come down to massive mistakes. And so that's a fun game to watch. They're, they're both well-coached teams. Coach Smith has got these guys oiled up, and um, Coach O'Brien on the St. Mary side is, you know, obviously him and, and Coach Everett are great coaches. They've been together for a number of years. Uh, so it's fun to see clean rugby, well-coached rugby, and teams that are executing the game plan. Yeah. Uh, and you don't mind seeing a young guy make a decision one way or the other. You know, sometimes it doesn't work out. But you get a little frustrated when you start to see massive errors, and I don't feel like we saw a lot of those.
I always turn around and you click the top.
caught up in good scrum half. It's chipped it high, but uh, St. Mary's uh, right wing. It was Halu, actually. It's a Halu, eh? Yeah, yeah. Halu taking the wing <laughs> position. He's he taking play it in. anywhere. Taking it in the middle of the field, and uh, St. Mary's is driving well up the middle. Now they're utilizing the back line. It goes far left, stretching it to the sidelines, utilizing uh, the whole width of the field at this point. There's some contesting oh, going on over the, over the ball. That was a good counter ruck. St. Mary's BYU. Had that. No, I thought BYU was going to take that, they but come. yes, they do. They've taken possession here. Out, fly half. Right down the middle. Here is it. This is a good high ball. Taken by number 11, and Charlie Loudon. He's launched it back down. BYU's uh, fullback, Perry. He's done a nice job there. Didn't want to knock it on. Let the ball recover and has cleared it out to his 10 meter line. Well, it'll be interesting to see if there are any major adjustments from either side uh, based on their halftime discussions. Typically, they'll go in and the coaches will mention a few things. They can tighten up or maybe change some strategy depending on, you know, if you're ahead or behind or you see a weakness. Ethan Waller puts it into the line out. It's taken down by number nine, Sean Jacobian. Great run. Set it up for a forward drive in the middle of the field. Jacobian back out to the left side. Now we've gone wide. Almost to the sideline with the St. Mary's uh, back line. It's brought to ground by BYU's defense. And they've stood up the St. Mary's player. Number 10. Okay. Well, they, BYU just left a huge gap in their defensive line. That's just undisciplined. They were all standing around looking at the job they'd done on that counter ruck and didn't handle their business in the, in the defensive line. Yeah, St. Mary's McCarthy, he uh, took advantage of that and shot yeah. through the middle. That was that's just un, unprepared or unaware. Now BYU's been caught off too. I eh? look, they've been caught off uh, leaving the leaving the f their feet, and now it's going to be a penalty to uh, St. Mary's. What's that? About 10, 15 yards from the goal line, just off to the right side of the, the uprights. Yeah, he's 15 yards out. Mm. Well, you know the BYU uh, defensive line was looking good there for a second, and then they uh, when they stood up. Uh, Halu off the side, they, they almost like they got proud of themselves and they stood there and yeah, watched what they were and doing watched and it, eh? left mm. a big gap off of the fringe. Mm. And, you know, they haven't played that many games this year. B-Wave only had, you know, three or four games. Mm. Um, they had one canceled for yeah. snow and uh, some other thing. Oh, Ooh, did Jacobian get yeah. that through? And he did. Good kick. So well done, uh, Sean Jacobian. Brings that... Uh, Score for St. Mary's to 21, BYU 10. It's always a great sign to see young fellas and young boys and girls take the ball yep. out to the middle of the field. That's Mikey Sua's little boy. That's fantastic. Yeah, we got this, the second coming of the Sua's. It's just great, isn't it? Here. Okay, we've got some yelling and... Crowds trying to get into it yep, and help yep, these BYU yeah. boys feel yep, better about here we themselves. Go. If nope. they don't tighten something up, it's gonna get away from them, Mark. You know? Connor Perry, yep, you're dead right. Connor Perry, he's launched this one. Just inside uh, St. Mary's 22 meter. Oh, and that's a solid defensive tackle. Now BYU, it looks like they've been offside, called offside. So not such a good uh, BYU defensive tackle. St. Mary's has taken advantage of this and, and has run straight past the defender there. BYU's right wing brings it inside. Perry, is that Perry? Good off. Oh, look, good handoff here. Oh, he's away. He's going to go. Konalu. Konalu. Yes. And a score. Wow. What a counterattack. That was well done by Konalu uh, <coughs> Shortland. The new winger, Sam Roberts, that scored and he's, that one. He's fed it to uh, Sam Roberts. In the backup role, and Roberts has gone over. Some good handling there, ball handling. Yeah, look, so they just showed the offload again on the replay, mm. and uh, 
Number 11, BYU cutting back in from the outfield. Yeah, he held three players by himself, and then he made a nice offload right there, in the tackle. Oh, he just kind of lost it in the tackle. I wonder. That looked like it rolled a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Well, he placed it backwards. Yes, he placed it backwards. Yeah, that, that counts. Nalu on the wing. That was a wing-to-wing -wing try, wasn't it? One, yes, it was. One wing to the other. And Kelvin Whiting secures the extra points. All right. Brings, uh, bringing BYU's tally to 17. Just Senior's when I thought 22. it was going to get away, it was an 11 point difference. They got that score back and kept it to five. And yeah, sort of right like on that. cue there, Justin. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll, I'll try it again right now. <laughs> well, and BYU have the wind at their backs, so if they want to try and kick to the corners and put the ball behind St. Mary's, this is the, this is the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Or maybe it's to their side. I can't tell which way this wind's coming from. Look at McCarthy. Puts it inside BYU's 22 meter. BYU moves it to the far right side of the field. There is some movement here up the field. St. Mary's defense is stalwart though. They are not giving an inch. In fact, they're uh, forcing BYU back into their own 22 meter. Oh. Wow. Oh. I didn't see that. Did you see that? Yeah, Talia, um, Peyton Talia. Ailalio took it around the top. He actually pulled out uh, quicker than anything else, so I'm actually surprised he was ping for that. Yeah, it didn't look bad. See there, that's what the wind looks like when it's at your back. That's a good There you game. go. All right. That's a good 30, 40 yards, eh? So I don't see any replacements for uh, BYU at the half, and I don't see any for St. Mary's. If I'm wrong, someone will, well, let's see, who's 23 at the flanker for St. Mary's? Is it St. Mary's has got a uh, flanker in here. And it looks like we're down the name, so we'll get that as soon as we can. Those of you that are viewing this game may be able to uh, tweet it to us. There's a drive. BYU's won it with a penalty. So they've come out of this drive with a penalty. Not sure what it was for. BYU coaches are asking him to kick it to the corner. They want to put it deep and then get a line out down there. Let's see if they listen to their coaches and execute it. <laughs> yep, there you go. Yeah, BYU is only, they're adrift one unconverted try. So this could, uh, could be a potential for BYU to correct things there for them. St. Mary's will uh, no doubt be up to the task with their defense. And there we go, St. Mary's. Tapped it at the top. Now referee's called a lift. Short not sure what the, huh, I'm not sure what that was for. It's not often you actually see that call. Did he lift too early? He may have. That's the only thing I can think of at this point. Jumping before the ball was uh, thrown in. So here we go, BYU ball just outside, uh, well, midway between the goal and the 22 meter. BYU have their backs lined up in an in attack uh, formation here. They've got their blind wing lined up behind the center. Oh my goodness. Oh, lost the ball. I was going to say that looked a bit. Uh, they were going to try and come in with a with a man advantage, bringing that weak wing in, but not this time. You say Mary did well there. They they pushed BYU back there, causing disruption at the base of the scrum. St. Mary's have their two centers really flat. Looks like it's going to be a little uh, little flat crash ball. Well, Kirby, and it's a good feed. It's a good strike. Hilu has driven it up past the uh, the line of the scrum, so he's made some ground there. St. Mary's is determined to get out of trouble here. And they're running effectively. A 
BYU's defense is uh, stand, standing tall. Neither team is willing to give up any any yardage, are they, Justin? No, it's They're fun to watch. It, yeah, it's clean, it's hard, and uh, it's disciplined. It's fun to watch. Looks like it's going to stay in. BYU's going to have another counterattack. Here comes the Connor Perry. Connor Perry tosses it in the midfield. Here, here, he's got it. And where does he launch it? Out wide to his winger. It's gone out to Sam Roberts. Was that Zachary? They got Zachary Wheeler. They got hit. No, that's uh, Nalu. That's Nalu? the other wing. Okay, Nalu, Shortland, eh? He came across. You never want to see that. Yeah, you never want to see that. I eh? um, no. strikes to the head. No, I I didn't see it. I don't know if they'll have a replay that we can. Someone was penalized for. I can't. I couldn't tell if he came from the side or if he was just offside or. Yeah. Or playing a man on the ground. I don't know what it was. Maybe we'll get, get to see the replay on this one. Connor Perry, the number 15, he's a up and coming player for BYU. Is he a freshman, did you say? No, it's his uh, senior year. No, it's his second or third year. Oh, yeah. Oh, that wasn't. Looks like he took a little knock and then maybe a knee, but it wasn't anything deliberate or. No. Yeah. No, there was no malice there. No, that's just unlucky. Yeah. However, um, motive is not what we look at as referees, is it? Here we go. Referee calls time on, so game is about to start again. Okay, so number 11 for BYU. That's uh, Kanali... Uh, Shortland, he's going off. No, he's no, he's going staying out. Staying on, yeah. They, he's going out further. They thought he, they had a replacement on for him, but he's oh, staying okay. on, so they brought that replacement back off. So they, yeah, they've taken him back off. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got some mix, some mix match in the uh, the oh. lineouts. Ben's taking a little snipe right up through Yeah, the we've got Ben Weber just putting some juice in here. He's gone through the, the forwards. He's actually at the base of the ruck now. Okay, so Kevin Sorensen out for the pass from Ika. Into the corner. And this, this oh, that'll be BYU is ball. gonna turn out well for BYU. Well, it's a good kick and kind of unlucky he didn't catch that. He was in the right spot for it. Mm. So it'll be BYU line out. That was quite fortuitous for BYU. Coach O'Brien was telling me that um, Aaron Matthews, that fullback, this mm -hmm. is his first year playing fullback. I think he's been a center and uh, an inside back, and this is his first year. First year. Uh, yeah. And sometimes those high balls and the kicks are a little bit harder to, to field when it's. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. BYU's moving here. So let's see if they make anything of it. Zach Weber, he sees that there's not a lot of support there, so he'll go to ground, make an effective ruck for the boys. Number nine, Ben Weber takes it up again. Patience Ten. again. Calvin is... Whiting, he sees no uh, gateway through there. Now it's gone far right. Is there any room down the far right? Good for Michael Payne. That was a nice run. And oh, the ball has come good. out. A little forward. A little forward. <laughs> oh, a little forward. A little forward. I don't know how he could have disguised it from it's a referee. It's kind of a lot forward. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to be a Houdini to disguise that, eh? That forward pass. Yeah, Payne uh, had a nice run down the sideline. Uh, broke a tackle or two, made an offload. Yeah, he did, eh? Yeah. I think that might have been Johnny Lane at the very end that kind of slung that ball forward. Mm. Let's go, Kev, let's go. So we've got a bit of a slowdown here. Well, let's see if St. Mary's will 
kick it down and keep it in again, maybe BYU will have another chance at counterattack. Well, BYU's on attack here. But it'll be a defensive scrum first for St. Mary's. No, oh, St. Mary's put in. So defensive scrum for St. Mary's. There you go. And here we go. So Lepetti bounces a BYU player off. Keeps it alive. St. Mary's, let's see what number is that. But he takes it on the run. So he's got some energy with him when he takes the pass. Okay, number 10, McCarthy, he's dragged down. Four gets it out, and this has gone wide. Very close to the sideline now. Good, uh, good pass, but not so good on the take. The St. Mary's, for, uh, their forwards come onto the ball, uh, you know, with a little pace. They're not taking it standing still, right? They get these pods. Yep off of the ruck and they're taking it coming on and it makes a big difference. They're breaking the line almost every time. Nice inside pass there to the runner. Now it gets launched back to McCarthy. McCarthy, he, is it McCarthy or Jacobian? We'll know here shortly. Yeah, it's McCarthy. And he's in the tackle. So he saw his error and he got out there to uh, boost his defense yeah. on the, the turnaround. St. Mary stole that ball. Yeah, that was that was good effort by St. Mary's. They were there, they had the numbers. Our guys, the BYU guys got there a little late and a uh, little less numbers. You can tell the, the Roberts kid, Sam Roberts out here on the wing, number 14 for BYU. You can tell he's kind of a new rugby player, right? He's got a little speed, but um, he doesn't have all of the all of the skills yet. He doesn't slow up. He doesn't keep the ball in. He doesn't keep the ball alive. Mm -hmm. um, he does a few things that new rugby players do. <laughs> Just needs experience, eh? Yeah, we'll get, Celeste Sika will coach him up and there you go. get it all figured out. But he's got a nice skill set to to build on, I guess. Oh yeah, right. So St. Mary's. So Ethan Waller. Throws it mid midline, taken down by number five, Alec Barton, and it's gone out to the midfield backs. McCarthy slings it out wide to the outside center. And St. Mary's is on a run here, making good progress up, up the field. There's a lot of, I'd like to know what the tackle count is today, because it's, it's, it's up there. Oh, well, they've got numbers out McCarthy. here. McCarthy. St. Mary's has got numbers. Matthews. And they're still going forward. Number Look at one. On that guy. To Look Leo. At him run. That's an athletic man right there. To Leo. Leo. He takes off, driving forward once again. St. Mary's in a good position here. And there's Talia. Oh, oh, oh my Tua. goodness. That was a big stop by Tua. Tua that puts his big, shoulder down there. Big boy he tackled. Uh, like and that. this could be trouble. Yeah. This could be trouble. St. Mary's has scored in the corner. Well worked try by St. Mary's. Very well done. I couldn't tell who scored that. Was that their wing? Was that number 11? Well, uh, we'll have to see three, a replay yeah, on that one. There were three of them out he's, there. I couldn't tell. He's got his, me caught on this one as well. We were a long way away. I couldn't see it. But that was well worked. Drive, drive, drive up the gats, up the gats, and then oh, number 12. out wide. Number 12, yeah. So we got Peter Lepetti. Well, they had it down to five. Looks like... Uh, That'll be a hard, yeah. might be a hard kick with the wind in his face. This is such a good game to watch because of the uh, the competitiveness of it. You know, compare this to a 100 to 20 score. score. Yeah, I was just talking to Not Coach fun, Brian though. about that before the game started. He, you know, mm. each of these teams play uh, you know a number of games each season that aren't competitive. Super competitive, yeah. Mm. You know, 60, 70 point games and. Uh, 
to be able to have games like this where the score line is close and both teams are well prepared. That's oh. a great kick. Oh, wow. man. Wow. Good for him. And is that the fly half? Who was the kicker on that one? Because we don't have the jersey. It's number nine. Sean Jacobian. Jacobian. Yeah. Boy, oh, boy. Sean Jacobian, that was a wonderful kick. Side on kick into the teeth of the wind, too. Rather than pulling out a 9-iron in uh, golf vernacular, he pulled out a 5 and drove it. Well taken on the reception there by St. Mary's. And they're controlling the ball well here. It's cleared by the scrum half. Uh-oh. Kobian's put it up there. Nice take. BYU. Weber. Now Zach, wow. Zach Weber. Nice Boy, take, he's Weber. made another 15 to 20 yards on the counter. See that recycles a little slow. They had they had St. Mary's on the back foot. Yeah. They had the ball recycled, and it took them a second to get there. That's right. It's got to come out faster. It's got to come out now. Okay. Connor Perry is playing halfback at this point. Yeah, I can't tell if Ben is getting stuck in there. Yeah. Or, oh, he's cramping. So Connor. He's down on the ground. So Connor Perry's down. He's uh, got. Some cramps going on there. That's ben. Uh, ben. Is it Ben? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Connor Perry, he's uh, he's the halfback right now. Doing a pretty good job, too. Oh, here we go. Lepetti saw that coming. So he did a, a jink. Okay. And let's see what BYU's going to do. We've got some loose ball here. Yeah, it's pretty scrappy right now. They need to tighten it up a little bit. BYU still has position out wide. Not going far, though. They're all so, standing still. Yeah, St. Mary's defense is, is wonderful to watch right now. They're putting on a clinic here at, at this phase. The pity looks like he... Oh, that was a good fend-off. He's moved up. Move, he's moved that defensive line backwards, which is good. So seven, Tosh Wilcox. Here she goes wide again. Number three, we've got a, a tight hit prop, uh, Michael Payne. Still going wide. We're actually five yards inside the St. Mary's 22 now. Not held. Yeah, right now it doesn't look like BYU sticking to any kind of game plan. It looks pretty scrappy, just kind of. Oh, here we go. Oh. Not held. That well, is a try. Scrappy works. Scrappy works. Well yeah. done. Sidestep and through. That's the replacement wing. What's that? Yeah, sidestep and through on that uh, St. Mary's defense and BYU. That's Justin Weaver. Zip through. Justin Weaver. He scored a, a great looking try there. That was well done. Uh, the trainers have got Ben uh, Weber down on the ground trying to get the cramps out of his calves. Yeah. <laughs> He's in <laughs> trouble, isn't he? Calves. Tell you what, your first start, and it's against St. Mary's, and you're going to cramp up because that's what you do. <laughs> He's had a good game, though, hasn't he? Justin Weaver, number 22. Good for him. He went airborne, didn't he? He did. <laughs> he did that. <laughs> Taken out low and did a... <laughs> Let's see if Calvin Whiting can make this conversion. He's about 25, 6, 26, 27 meters out. Yeah. Bad angle. Wind should help. And Calvin steps in. Pulled and up. the wind wasn't quite there to straighten it up. So here we go. We're back to a um, converted try separation. And we're in the 63rd minute, so we've got 17 minutes of nail-biting affair. The crowd get, gets a little excited when they score. Hopefully they can uh, get loud and help some of these BYU boys. There's quite a crowd over there on the, on the south stands. Yeah. It's a good sunny Saturday to be outside. Yeah. St. Mary's number 10, McCarthy, he launches it high, comes down at the 5-meter line just inside the 22-meter. Line of St. Mary's. BYU's moving this ball effectively here. Oh, but they're still moving it. Ugh. And 
But for a for a little error in judgment there, BYU could have kept going on that one. St. Mary's put in the defense once again. Now, what was the, what was the penalty for? I Justin? Off, I think it was offside, but I didn't see. I was just glad that St. Mary's didn't intercept that. Yeah, that was close. Volleyball set and take it in. Lonnie had just positioned uh, midway between uh, the halfway and 10 meter line of BYU. You know, Scrappy works sometimes, but BYU's got to figure out how to get their pattern nailed down and just tighten this thing up and execute what they've been practicing. Short line it has gone to thrown to the front. So now we have a BYU drive, but this could turn out bad if it goes to the sideline. No, BYU has kept it in. Now we've got some misplays here, and looks like we've got some missed pickups. One more. Zach Weber has just fired it out. Now the this speed. speed. There's the speed. Oh! Now that didn't go forward. He actually no, passed no, it backwards. No. So BYU is actually still in possession here. You weren't, uh, you weren't kidding, were you, uh, Justin? Yeah, he's a fast guy. We just need to teach Bloody him some. Got quick, uh, man. <laughs> uh, he passes it out. Who's he, who's he hooked up with? I think it was either Kevin Sorensen. And here we go. BYU's number five, James Mocky. Locks have had a high work rate today. Yeah, yeah, they've been all over the place. And Kelvin, uh, Kelvin Whiting wants to give his opponent number a go. This is not coming out very cleanly. In fact, it's gone against BYU's Kelvin Whiting. The ball. I thought they were holding on to the ball carrier, but it must have been a yeah. bad angle for me to see that. Yeah. Oftentimes, it's tough to call, isn't it? Hard, yeah. oh. Okay, during the stoppage, um, what else can we talk about here as far as the second half, Justin? What have you been noticing? Well, uh, it's been a little scrappier, a little looser, uh, kind of some fractured stuff. Uh, and you know what? That suits both teams. Both teams are expansive. Uh, forwards and backs can run. BYU likes to move it from sideline to sideline, so does St. Mary's. So it kind of makes an exciting game when things kind of get loose like that. Mm. Both teams get excited and go. It shows you that both teams can counter on you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it looks to me like the effective. BYU you guys are a little out of shape or a little dehydrated. I mean, we got guys laying all over the place getting their calves rubbed and other problems. Um, yeah. What do we have? 15 minutes to go. <laughs> Gonna Let's be see a, here. Yeah. Yeah. Find out who's uh, who's got the stronger will in the last 15 minutes. Well, it's a game for the young folk, isn't it? Yeah. Cause you imagine me out there, Justin. <laughs> Hey, I went and played last weekend with the old boys yeah, in Las Vegas, and I still can't breathe. That are, that have to replace both hips on me on the field. Well, here we go. St. Mary's has uh, cleared this out. Just inside uh, St. Mary's, 10 meter. Once again, it's a full line-out. Uh, the creativity in the line-outs today have been variations within the, the full line. And it's well taken by number four. And it's uh, Ronan Murphy. And it's gone all the way back out. That's a really nice and boy, have we got some back moves going on by St. Mary's players. Yeah, these backs run really nice direct lines in the front space. Yeah. Good defense by BYU, however. St stalled their uh, progression ever so slightly. Now they've got some variation patterns out here in the back line. So much so that it's confusing some of their players as well. So that's that ad lib uh, we'd like to see in the game of rugby. And here we go. Defense once again for BYU. Pulls the St. Mary's player down. Murphy out. Passes it out to his tight head prop. Who then links up with his loose head prop. Still going left. You covered pretty well on that. Yes, this they is did. The loose, fractured stuff we were talking about mm. earlier, right? Mm. What's what's so good to watch with these type of teams is that you can see them reposition very quickly. You know, they get back into uh, position. 
Yeah, the ones that are well quickly. coached, they, they get back in position quickly, and then you find out how fit they are. Yeah. You know, the last 10 yeah. 15 minutes of the game, the guys that, <laughs> that aren't getting back, <laughs> it's not because they're not trained, <laughs> it's because they're not fit. Running out of fuel. Yeah, yeah, they know where they need to be, and they want to be there, they just can't get there. And we might start to see that a little bit. So they're going to take a crack at this uh, kick on the penalty. That'll put them away by 10 points. Speaking of energy, sometimes... This is a tactical maneuver. Obviously, it, it would be for putting points on, but if, even if it's a 50-50 chance of getting it, they're giving the boys a breather. Yeah, that's smart. And they're going to go again. Hey, this is a decent chance for me to uh, talk about the Utah Warriors, the new professional rugby team here in Utah, headed up by my good buddy Kimball Kerr and coached by um, Alf, a really good guy out of New Zealand. There are a number of BYU players on the team. This is good. And that is a great kick into the wind. My goodness. So Sean Yacobian, once again, shows his skills with the kick. So these Utah Warriors, they have their first professional game on March 30th at 7 o'clock out in Harriman at the brand new Salt Lake Real uh, facility. It's a beautiful facility, beautiful stadium. Paul Lasique is playing on the team. The Whitby brothers are on the team. A lot of, a lot of guys that are local and fans are recognized. So Perry, Connor Perry kicks off, high, comes down, short of the 22. The BYU is awarded a penalty here. The score right now is uh, BYU 22, St. Mary's 32, with uh, 10 and a half minutes to go. He's going to go for the line out and try and drive in here. Like. Okay, so the line out is going to be... Uh, Midway between the 22 and the 5 metre. So this is a great attacking position for BYU. Five, five, five. Now there's a shortened line out. And the penetration is within uh, the length of the line out itself. So they've got to penetrate, penetrate and see if they can whip it wide. Don't see any dis... Uh, Disparity between the two back lines, so it's full counter on either side of the ball. BYU's forwards are driving through here, taking a quick pass from the scrum half. Still in possession. Yeah, BYU's got the ball once again. Now going backwards here in by St. Mary's. Isn't the end of the world, but losing the ball is St. Mary's put in a great defensive uh, patterns there. And as a result, they have benefited from uh, a spilled ball by BYU and has cleared it. Yeah. I was about uh, to say that three uh, minutes as, inside. as long as BYU stays patient when they're on attack and they're that deep, if you lose a yard on one of your runs, it's okay, as long as you maintain possession. Yeah. But, but then they spilled it up. And yeah, loss of possession is a killer, isn't it? Just, just In any sport. Sure BYU's line out, taken at the front, quickly passed down from the top. And that's been passed long out, long way out by Ben Weber. And BYU has launched the downfield. Now we've got a counter-attack here by St. Mary's. Using the left side of the field. Oh, and St. Mary's has turned this. Once again, we were just you were just talking about it, Justin. Turnover ball. Ouch. Yeah, at this point of the game, you've got to maintain position. You know, the problem is you're tired, uh, you're breathing hard, you, your body's not working exactly the way it did. Mm, brain sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Things happen. The pass is a little short. You don't reach out as hard. Anyway, we've all been there. We know, <laughs> we know how it feels. More than once. So another good opportunity for BYU. They've got to probably put something together pretty quickly here down 10. They're going to have to make something happen. Yeah. They will, will need to. St. Mary's is putting in a great scrum here. BYU has managed to maintain position, however, which is great. And that was a good take. Great hands. Yeah. Good take by our uh, number 14 player, Sam Roberts. Back in the forward drive, utilizing the forwards. Oh. Hard, always a hard call that one but apparently he's gone to ground he's supporting himself with his hands you're not allowed to do that yeah 
So I suppose it's not too bad. Even the referee called it cheeky. So now we're on St. Mary's 22 meter line. I want to say we, BYU. Fake pass first out to pit, out to uh, Tua. Yeah, somebody's got to straighten up and take this up the field. They just keep going laterally. And then they wait so long at the breakdown that St. Mary's comes in and poaches. You gotta get somebody to get up the guts on this. Oh, who's number seven? Oh my gosh, he's busted away. Oh my golly. Everybody was was caught sleeping on that one. Did he lose his boot in the process? Did he give it to him? I can't tell what he's done. Well, he finally had a kid that wanted to go straight up the guts. Yeah. And it made, <laughs> it makes a little difference. Wow, I'm, I've got to see the number on this one. Number seven. Number seven, eh, for BYU? Yeah. Tosh Wilcox. Tosh. He was flying. He took off. What's the uh, AR going to say on that side? Oh. He's giving it to him, huh? Here's the replay, Mark. Oh, so the... Taken down just before the line. Oh, yeah. Looks like he rolled across and got it down. Well done. That was very well done. Well, uh, let's see. We said we needed a score within the next minute or two. It looks like they, they handled that. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of a bummer that a yellow card was pulled, but it happens. Um, but BYU has scored. Who got a yellow? I didn't see that. Uh, it was a... Um, a St. Mary's player? St. Mary's player. Had no, I did not see that. It might have been their hooker. But I, I better not guess that. And the conversion's good. Calvin Whiting puts it over. Great conversion. Which brings BYU within a penalty kick of uh, tying this ball game up. Well, let's see. So BYU's a man up, right? 15 to 14. Mm-hmm. Five and a half, six minutes to go. Yes. So it'll be interesting to watch tactics now. Let's just watch tactics. We'll see what uh, either team are going to... Well, we know what BYU's tax, tactics are going to be, Here's but St. Mary's. It, yeah. BYU wants to pump it into the corners mm -hmm. and try and get a penalty down there to tie it up. Yep. Maybe get lucky on a breakaway. Oh, oh my goodness. Kidding. Well, there's the first tactic. Make sure oh. the ball bounces your way. Well, BYU just stood there and watched <laughs> it. They didn't even catch the restart. Well, well, that went in the hands of a oh, of a, a St. Mary's player. Oh, they're hustling. These and they guys. are coming to play. Yeah. And this is great stuff to watch. To me, they look more fit than the BYU boys. What do you think? Yeah, it seemed like it. Yeah. It certainly seemed like it. And look at this. I think we've got an overlap here. Looks like Let's see what happened here. Cameraman's confused. Commentators are confused. Having a discussion in the corner. Player with the long hair, good looking hair, is not confused. Number 13 scored that. So that was a try. Yep. Well done, St. Mary's. I'll tell you what. That's how you come back from getting scored on. Well, when there's five minutes left in the game and you're receiving a restart, you don't stand there and stare at the ball. Sorry to be upset. Yep, BYU that's that's exactly right, that's Justin. This was happens. Yeah, that's. So that's one of those mental errors, right? Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, so. God. Hats off to St. Mary's for taking advantage of that. Well, you know, they look they look like the better team right now. They're a little more fit, um, running a little harder. They run a little straighter. Such a close game, man. Eh? Such a close game. Yeah, yeah. Still time, right? Yep. I mean, four or five minutes, maybe there's still time to make yep. something happen. What's this going to make it another 10-point difference? Yeah. 29-37 right now. Yep. This Jacobian guy's six for eight. He's a he's a quality kicker, this young fellow. Yeah. And just about got a nice swing to his kick, eh? Yep. Well done, Sean. Sean Jacobian. You've uh, kicked well today. Okay, so Connor Perry. Launches it high, taken by St. Mary's. Look like they're locked. Oh, it was knocked forward. 
So we've got three and a half, no, four minutes to go. And this has been one of those games. It's been a back and forth type of game. The St. Mary's has been on top for quite some time. We'll see what BYU can do in the last, well, the dying minutes of this game today. <coughs> Connor Perry is still playing halfback. And nobody wants that ball. And BYU's lost it. And watch the counter-attack. That was a very good call there. Well done. But BYU's actually grabbed this. And they're making now the counter-attack. Good tackling by St. Mary's. Well done by... Uh, Sean Jacobian again. I think he's got to be, what, the outstanding player of the game for St. Mary's at least. Well, he's good. He's, he's at the breakdown really quickly. Uh, he makes quick decisions. He gets the ball out of there quickly. He's made his kicks. Uh, he's a good player. Oh, he's a good player. Good, good future, Sean Jacobian. And referee says that's not straight. So nobody likes to see a not straight call, particularly when Hold it's in a few minutes. minutes to go. What's that, Justin? They just need to hang on for two minutes. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have much left to. Mm. So scrum down halfway. We've got a minute, 10 seconds on the clock. Perry feeds it. Out she goes wide. Uh, Tua, he's driven that in. Set it up for a quick ruck. Oh, uh, well tackled by St. Mary's player. Yeah, that's a great tackle. James Mocky's taken the ground. And now the pressure is mounting. The pressure is mounting now. And Ika Spencer couldn't quite uh, stay focused on taking the pass. Wanted to go on to the next phase, which was the run. So, scrum down with 10 seconds to play. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, barring, gonna kick barring this out. A, uh, an illegal infraction. This will be the last play of the game. And referee Summer blows it for full time. That was a good game. Well done by St. Mary's. They, uh, they put the pressure on when they needed to. They capitalized when they had the opportunities. You know, after BYU scored here with uh, seven minutes to go, they came right off that restart, they stole did. the restart, went down and scored they within did. a few seconds. That's that's how you win these big games. Good. Congratulations to St. Mary's. Yeah, that, that uh, demonstrates quality quality of uh, coaching, quality of playing, quality of play selection. It doesn't help, of course, when your opposite uh, forgets to grab the ball when they should. Well, but, yeah. But hats off to St. Mary's. I mean, by goodness, that was... That was great to watch. And credit to BYU. They were playing with six uh, backups. Yep. Um, you know, six of their starters were out, so injury and whatever else. So I think they did really pretty well for yep. having six new guys on. And you could tell when some of the really new guys were, were involved. Um, and they're only going to get better. I'm, imp and I'm impressed with the, the defensive talent that BYU, certainly St. Mary's has got it, but BYU, like you say, with a lot of young players. Yeah. The defense that BYU was playing today was impressive, especially, like you say, such young talent, new players. That's impressive. Yeah. That was really good to watch. And BYU haven't had very many games yet this season. There have been mm. a couple of issues around weather and travel and whatever else. So um, they've got Central Washington here next Saturday. That's a great match and another chance for some of these young guys to get better. And I think uh, over the next month, as they get closer to the playoffs, getting three or four games under their belt is going to oh. is going to it's going to look different for the BYU team. And yeah. the St. Mary's guys, they're going to keep getting better too, and they're going to make a deep run 
um, again, like they do every year. Absolutely. This is a quality, quality team. Great Absolutely. players and great coaches. Absolutely. And we love having them here. I mean, I, I, talking to the BYU coaches, they love having these St. Mary's guys around. They're good people. So that brings it to full time with uh, St. Mary's winning 37 to 29 against Brigham Young University. Uh, thanks for joining us today, folks. It's been a pleasant, pleasant day. It's been a great game to watch, and we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. So, signing off for myself and my partner here, Justin Nettle, and we thank you for visiting.